Hello, in this video I will show how we can organize tools when we will program a multi-channel machines. So the first thing we have to understand is the carrier geometry or element and the pocket element. So when we will program uh, for a multi-channel machines, the carrier uh, means each channel. So for example, if the machine I will program have three channels, I will add three carriers. So for example, channel number one, and here will be the channel name, the carrier name, that will be the same as the channel name. So this information will be useful for the post processor because in the post processor, I can read this information and I can select uh, what is the kinematics that the post should use. So in this case, I will keep number one, I will hit OK. I will create channel number two. So number two, OK. And channel number three. So in this case, number three. Okay, so now as we have the three channels, I can create the specific number for each uh, channel depending on the two capacity of each channel. So for example, I will add the pocket in the channel number one. So this will be pocket number one. Okay, so number one and the adjust register and cut come register will be the same number. So, okay, and I will repeat the same process for the channel number two and channel number three. So, pocket one, okay, but already have this name. So, in this case, I will add a prefix here, for example, two underscore underscore pocket one. Okay, okay. I will rename the first one for one underscore pocket one. And I will repeat the process for the channel number three okay and now after we have all pockets we can create the tools inside of the pockets so for example i will create a milling tool in the pocket number one of channel number one so the tool will inherit the tool number, adjust register, and cut come register numbers from the pocket. Okay, so this is how we can organize tools if we have a multi channel machine. Also, this information is stored in the machine kinematics, so I will delete the channels and pockets and now I will retrieve the tool actually I will retrieve the machine from the library okay DMG sprint okay Okay, 
So in this example, we have the three channels. So channel number one, this turret, channel number two, this turret, and channel number three, this turret. And for each channel, I already have the correct for each channel. So in this case, the channel number one works only on main spindle and channel number two works only on sub spindle. But the channel number three can work on both spindles. So in this case, we have some other configuration on channel number three. So in this example, the machine uses a numeric Siemens 8040D control. So uh, the customer uses uh, the tool number 101 to 112 in the channel number one, 201 to 212 on channel number two. So if we edit the pocket here we have the correct numbers also here and in the channel number three the 300 numbers 301 302 will be for tools use it in the main spindle and 400 so 401 402 are the numbers the two numbers use it in the sub spindle. So after we have the machine and we have the pockets, I can add the tooling blocks. So I will insert tool, retrieve devices from library and tool holder. And I will add in this case, uh, Excel mule tooling block, okay? So as we add the tooling block in the 301, this means that this tooling block will work in the main spindle. So we have the tool in the correct direction. So I will create a tool in the tooling block pocket. Okay, and for example, a 10 millimeters mill length 25 and 20. Okay, so perfect. We have the tool in the correct position. Also, now if I just move the tooling block from 301 to 3, 401 actually we will have the pocket in the other side orientation. I will just update the tool here. So we have the tool in the correct position also. So this is how we can add tooling blocks and manage or organize tools when we have uh, a multi-channel machines. Also, this is just one example. Here, I have another machine with uh, two channels. So it's a Mazek Integrex machine with the B-axis head and the lower turret. So in this case, these machines works in a different way. So this, machines, this machine uses T number one, two, or three in the B axis head. And in the lower turret, we have a, dif a different name convention. So let me show the tool call in the B axis head. So this is the tool call, tool number one, point zero one in the B axis head. And in the lower turret, on main spindle, we have this six uh, number 
six digits number so 002002 002. 002. this is the tool number and this is the correction the two lengths correction number so in this case in the main spindle the tool number will be two one two three four but if we have the same tool use it in the sub spindle the numbers will be 101 or 102 or 103 and so on so in this case let's check the machine tool view we have uh, the pockets for the b-axis head so channel number one we have in this case 110 tools and in the lower third we have let's close nine tools so from 101 and 109 to 109 in this case if we edit the pocket the tool number will be 101 that means this pocket will be used for sub spindle but as we can see here i'm using the same pocket for main spindle and sub spindle so in this case i hard coded the post processor so the post processor check what spindle is in use for that specific tool and output the correct tool number and also if we check the simulation the machine simulation this will work correctly so let's play the simulation here it's a uh, turn roughing perfect and now let me simulate the operation on sub spindle so in this case tool number 101 so let me hit play the tool is in the correct position also so this is another example on how we can organize and manage tools on a multi-channel machines and in this case we are using exactly the same way uh, as the machine vendor uh, advised let me finish the simulation here and i have another example here so in this case we have just one channel machine uh, with two spindles but one interesting thing here let me hide the machine enclosure okay one interesting thing in this example is that we can also for single channel or multi-channel machines use tooling blocks uh, with uh, multi tools that is this case we have two uh, in this case I think it's the same insert but we have two tools in the same tooling block so in this case let's check the NC code first okay in this case we have tool number 30303 for main spindle and if we check the NC code for sub spindle we have tool number 3 but correction 33 so in this case let's check how is the machine tool view here we have the tooling block 
let's close all here so we have first uh, all pockets here for the turret we have pocket number 0101 for main spindle pocket 0131 for sub spindle if we have just a single tool that is this case for example in this case it's tool number five so we have just the tooling block here and we have just one insert but if we have like tool number three uh, two tools in the same uh, tooling block we can use the pocket number for main spindle in this case 0303 and also we can add the two tools and just change the let me finish here and edit the tool we can just change the adjust register number and cut come register number so in this case i'm using for uh sub spindle so if we simulate also let's simulate both operations okay we have here the tool number 0303 and here a different correction for same tool so let's hit play perfect so everything is working in this case it's a single channel machine but it's another example on how we can manage uh, multi tools in the same tooling block and that uses the same tool number i hope this helps manage tools in uh, multi channel machines and a uh, multi tools and please feel free to contact us if you have any question. Thank you.